Uh, I don't think I would ever take up farming profession if all my hard work is to reduce into ashes by crop failure. What do I do now? Oh, climate smart agriculture and crop diversification. Let's learn about it in more detail from group number 5. Before we start, let's introduce our characters. Are you all excited to learn? Let's start. Tuk chanda lezin dale tambar ne sudin. Dari mongar jongkha keng karlu. Chim kumba nije tukchu lhakjam gi. Keza gi jinsu namji chowale tindi gi be me tai pinbe. Oh my god. Dad, why are there so many cases about crop failure these days? Ah, forget it. There are many reasons. Oh, come on, Dad. Knowledge sharing is very important in farming, you know. Firstly, it's due to climate change. You know the impacts of climate change. Climate change causes extreme weather events, water scarcity, crops become unfit for place, and climate change favors alien species and new pests which damage our crops. And I think this is the sole reason for all the crop damages. Okay, so what can our farmers do? I mean, what's the solution, Dad? Well, CSC in simple is to sustainably increase agriculture productivity and improve the income and livelihood of farmers through crop diversification, crop rotation, mixed cropping, irrigation methods, etc. Keeping in mind the effect of climate change. Then Dad, what is crop diversification? Crop diversification means growing more than one crop in an area at the same time. Dad, if it is a solution to crop failure, why can't our farmers take up climate smart agriculture such as crop diversification? Diversifying the crop system is already being practiced by farmers, especially to overcome crop production challenges such as varying weather factors and to fight the challenge of pests. For example, we have very good key study of crop diversification in Wankar Monger, where farmers take up crop diversification to battle crop failure. So we will take you all through our case study. For countries like Bhutan, nestled in high Himalayas with huge topographical challenges, ensuring food security is a must. Climate change, shrinking habitats and water and other resource scarcity have all posed threats to a stable supply of food. So what could be the solution? Climate smart agriculture such as crop diversification is the solution to many of these challenges. Most of the farmers in eastern Zonkak practiced monocropping system, totally unaware of the modern cropping system. They were innocent, having very little knowledge about climate smart agriculture, such as crop diversification and their benefits. Often, they would work so hard and be shattered by crop damage and failure due to monocropping system. Impacts of climate change, such as extreme weather events, Drought, poor soil health, and water scarcity were consistently faced by the farmers in Eastern Zonkak. Their little knowledge acted as constraints for better production through modern cropping system. They were rooted so much into their traditional farming practice that they often faced crop damage to pests and diseases and crop failure due to poor soil health. For instance, in Wankar in Monger, 120,785 kg of maize were damaged by pests and wind, which belonged to 260 households spread over 81 acres of land. Farmers were shattered and were at verge of giving up their farming work, but later only to regret it. Poor farmers in Wanker would barely manage to sustain their livelihood after huge loss. Living from hand to mouth, they would be worried about the food security, whether the least production from the crop damage would surface the family or not. After repeated crop damage, farmers could no longer bear the loss. Their urge to raise complaints about the crop loss to agriculture center was too hard to be ignored when a group of farmers from Wankar straight away went to Gyog agriculture center with complaints and bitter stories. After hearing the dramatizing stories from the farmers, 
agriculture officer from the Geok Center, provided insights about climate smart agriculture, such as crop diversification to the farmers and their benefits. Farmers were more than glad that they approached the right person for the solution. Agriculture officer from the Geok Center advised the farmers on bed preparation so that later he can visit the field and personally help farmers promote their production from crop diversification. Farmers were happy with their ultimate solution and agreed to prepare bed and wait for them until then. After two weeks, as scheduled to meet, agriculture officer from the Georg Center along with officials from Carlib visited the farmers' cropland. With the unfailing support from Carlib, agriculture officer provided the farmers with varieties of cereal crops such as quinoa seeds, oblant paddy, spring maize, grain legumes, and oil seeds. Similarly, some of the vegetable crops being promoted through this integrated farming approach under this project include tomato, chili, cabbage, radish, asparagus, cauliflower, carrot, and ladyfingers. Farmers from Wenker village were overjoyed to have the variety of crop seeds with the unique idea of planting together for better production. They received hybrid seeds of vegetables and other commodities aimed at encouraging climate resilient production from Carlip program. Officials from Carlip program talked about the importance of crop diversification which helps in sustainable production of food, maintaining food and nutrition security. And they also advised the farmers to stress more on climate smart agriculture in this era of globalization than to focus on traditional cropping system. Farmers readily agreed with it and were now more encouraged on commercial cropping through crop diversification. After absorbing every insight about climate smart agriculture from the learned ones, farmers from Wenger Gyo were more than happy to execute it. Greatly moved by the information about crop diversification, they were eager and excited at the same time to ditch their traditional cropping system and to try this new system. Farmers in Wenger Gyo tried beans and garlic together, onions and carrots together, maize and quinoa plants together, and many other varieties together. They adopted the new system. As advice, they planted diverse of crops together, and this time with greater hopes and expectations of bountiful harvest. They learned more about climate-resilient crops and different methods of climate-smart agriculture that would adapt and battle the impact of climate change. Not only crop diversification, they also practiced different irrigational methods and crop rotations and mixed cropping to resist climate change. They were amazed how the plants will be benefiting each other, how crop diversification can minimize plants from nutrient competition and drive away some pests and diseases. After executing the new ideas, borrowed from agriculture officer with the support from Carlip, Farmers were overjoyed with their products. They were amazed of how the ideas of climate smart agriculture can combat erratic weather and reduce the risks of crop damage. They were then more than happy to shed their soil for the cultivation as their hard work is now being rewarded unlike in the past where they were so helpless with the crop damage. Now even agriculture officers and officials from Carlib were more concerned and paid a frequent visit to the farmland of Wenger. Farmers were motivated that they can battle against the crop damage. They are now encouraged to go for commercial farming from self-sufficient farming. Most of the farmers in eastern Zonkak took keen interest in crop diversification from subsistence to commercial farming after the first trial in Wenger Gyok. The success story of climate smart agriculture is yet to reach all corners of Bataan. Well, the Carlib in collaboration with agriculture sectors provided all the necessary information about 
climate-resilient cropping system that the farmers should adopt to fight against climate change for enhanced production. Farmers were easily convinced seeing the success story of Wenger. Oh, wait. If you think that Carlip did great, just wait and brace yourself. Carlip's effort doesn't end here. They did even greater. Carlip's program moved from Gyog to Gyog in Eastern Songkhak, sharing information about climate smart agriculture, such as crop diversification, different irrigational methods, crop rotation, and mixed cropping. Till date, Carlip has enabled crop diversification on 805 acres of land. Carlip did their part, but ours is yet to start. If you are from farming background, remember you are one step closer in battling crop failure due to climate change. I hope when you get back to village, your parents and your neighbors are convinced not by Carlip, but this time by you. Don't forget to share the information about climate smart agriculture, especially crop diversification, because the benefits are just wow. Let's go through it once. Number one, crop resistance to pests and diseases. Number two, increase crop productivity. Number three, improve soil fertility. And number four, helps in income generation. After all the benefits and good sides of crop diversification, we expect better agriculture system in future. Today, we look forward to every part of Bhutan to have what we call climate smart agriculture, such as crop diversification, to battle against climate change and promote enhanced production.